my loves what's up and welcome back to the trend diaries i'm nadi and in today's a video as i promised we are going to be answering some burning questions from you guys about me so welcome to the get to know me tag i don't know how long would this video be so if it is too long i would you know just make two parts of it but let's see so i'm having all the questions over here that's me by the way i'd become a sadhu baba um in a school drama i'm having all of your questions imported right here on my laptop so let's begin first question is this hmm okay we'll take other question what is your age and what are you studying so i'm 21 at the moment i'll be turning 22 soon i'm studying nothing at the moment i'm done with my studies so the next question is from harshita pande here she's saying a message about those beauty content creators who still promote fairness and have millions of subscribers that hurts because um india mein talent ko kimat nahi hai you know it is like in india if you market any product with just the label of fairness on it it would be sold within seconds and if you just market or label any product as natural fairness gorapan nikhar it's going to sell out like that in seconds that's the problem over here content creators who are still pushing whitening brightening lightening products glutathione and all of these tablets which contains glutathione to promote fairness it is really sad that we have that section which still prevails but i think they should just stop doing it and they must realize how badly can it affect someone mentally because i myself being a brown skin girl i know how it is to be and survive and grow up being dark skinned brown skinned in india because uh the taunts that this society gives is not easy to digest so people like these and content like this you know just add salt to our wounds that's it content like this just makes us believe like as if we are having something wrong going on with us or with our skin tone or having brown skin melanin skin is bad and not good i don't really know why this all started like we are blessed dude we ask god like give us this make us rich give us that God has already made us melanin rich then why don't we appreciate it like why don't we accept ourselves because this is what he has created and we should love it we should learn to appreciate what we have than to crib about what we don't have or oh i want it to be fairer oh i want it to be thinner like does it really matter no i just feel like they should stop making such content because it just makes one feel lesser about themselves and they are not doing any good by making such content next question is the most underrated hair care product according to you now um like i have used it right now on my hair see i am a person um who likes minimal skin care hair care in my routines and i do not do 10 steps because i cannot manage to do all of that every time So what I do to my hair is just oil my hair twice a week maybe and then just shampoo my hair and I do not use any heat for shampooing I love to use either Clinique Plus or this this is the Rustic Art a shampoo butter so you can see how much I love this the concept is also very unique you just have to scoop out a little it is not aqua based foams up a lot and even if you have heavy oil going on on your scalp this will remove it out like I had done heavy oiling yesterday and you can see my hair it's just air dried after using this product i really like this one i feel more than clinic plus this is more good for my hair because this is organic and i don't really see many bloggers talking about this brand they are a small uh, business from satara maharashtra and i don't really see a lot of them trying or talking about this brand they had sent me these like a month plus back now and since then i've been using like even this their oil then they have one more shampoo butter for dandruff issue their lip balms they all are so good but underrated nobody talks about them but i really like this when is your birthday nidhi that's the first question um it is on 25th of october i was born in the year 1998 then what is your favorite hindi movie I don't know. I don't remember. The thoughts about Komal Pandey's fashion ideas. 
I think it's her choice. It's her choice. Uh, let her do what she wants to do. Uh, many people don't find it practical, but then it's her life. It's her choice. It's her taste. She is wearing it. You are not forced to wear it. So just leave it. I just know one simple thing is that YouTube has a variety of content creators. So if you move into some video, you like that content, then good. If you move into some video or some content creator and you do not like the content or you feel like that content isn't uh, resonating to your thoughts and your perspectives about life and if they're speaking something about that, then just leave it. The door is right there. Why to sit and cry about it like, oh, I do not like it. And why to pass judgments? Just take your exit, man. Just move out with gratitude and move into some other door which is made for you like the dialogue they said in love you zindagi that you know life is also just like sofa sets if you don't find that place that situation that person around you comfortable just move just switch switch you guys just switch and move into some other sofa set which is made for you and more comfortable and you feel happy over there it's just all about you so don't give a damn about others if you don't like it you don't like it but don't pass harsh comments is what I would say because at the end of the day everyone is a human and they feel bad even we feel bad um, because we are judged by thousands daily online so just don't criticize anyone or demean anyone just take your leave it's that simple. I have many questions about Mama Earth and what happened with Mama Earth. So here she says, we all know you faced bullying by a company. Just share your inspirational story, how you faced it strongly. Uh, it seems you always give genuine review, be it harsh or sweet. So you are sometimes upset that your following is not as huge as those person who give fake reviews. Hmm. The thing is people don't really know uh, the difference between sponsored, not sponsored and how exactly things work because they were not told to them until this honest youtuber tag went around wherein content creators started revealing of how actually the process is so i feel sponsored content is nothing bad because it's like even this is our bread and butter if you are a doctor if you are a physician and if you get those free medicine samples then that's not bad if you're working at railways and you get to travel all around the country for free then that's not bad so if we are makeup bloggers and beauty creators and if we get makeup for free then what's the problem like oh, what's the problem dude and the thing is like you know all youtubers work in a different way i cannot talk about anyone else but for me i have a particular pattern of working either barter or sponsored and whenever it is sponsored i say it out loud I have even done unsponsored review videos and people called me out for saying as if they were sponsored like the Kiro Beauty ones, they all were just barter, I didn't get a single penny but people were calling me out saying that it was sponsored reviews and I just do sponsored reviews while they were not. So I cannot sit and explain to everybody like hey it was not sponsored review. Um, I know what my truth is and I say it out loud if you want to believe it believe it otherwise just leave it I don't you know take it to my heart because we have to develop this tough skin against people online because some can just get on our nerves at times when I say it is not sponsored it is actually not sponsored so sponsored reviews also I take only of those brands after I have tried them for a period of time more than 15 days and I've liked them then I go back to them like hey hey I like the product this and that and and then if they want to do the sponsored video then we go about it it is not like oh you're giving me money let's just read out that script and make fool of the audience no it does not work like that I can literally play screenshots of so many brands that I have literally said a big no just because they wanted to make a puppet out of me or they wanted me to just read out the scripts and narrate it to you guys or at times they just weren't confident enough in their own product because when I used to say that hey I'm gonna use your product for this and this period of time and if I like it only and only then I would post a review about it then they just never come back they just from there so it happens like that and uh, again for such whitening lightening brightening and melanin reduction products I just say a big no on their face 
I shut them there and there itself. I do feel bad at times when we are doing non-sponsored videos and going on our ethical paths but still are being called out for being sponsored and we don't even get views. It feels bad because those were the genuine reviews and people who are doing just sponsored videos but they are not disclosing it to you guys but we do understand when it is sponsored and you know the way they present it it just becomes as if oh this is a part of my routine and I use it every time I use this oil I use this hair tonic I can't get over these people and uh, I have also got many questions about what happened with me and Mama Earth. Uh, so that's a big story, you guys. So the thing was, um, all started when I did a poll on my community tab on YouTube, wherein I asked you guys to share with me the products that you guys want me to review because I was placing an order from their website. And so you guys gave me your recommendations or the products that you wanted me to try and I so bought it. And so then I bought them. Then I tested them out and it was like more than two months that I was testing these products out and I felt like some of them were okay while others just were a pass for me and uh, so I made a review video because I had already planned it months back but as I wasn't seeing any significant difference I kept on trying with the same products instead of giving up on them in just 15 days. So in that way I did that video, it was no way sponsored by any other competitive brand or any other brand or by anyone. I swear, I swear on my mom, nobody had sponsored that video. It was all from here and what I felt and my own experience and I said it out loud and that thing happened. But before the video was out, the brand got to know somehow that I was going to make that video via some agencies. And I was like planning on making such kind of videos and I was not quite happy with the products. So they did contact me before as well thrice and we did speak like two hours on call and I explained them what my problems were with the ingredient list, with the fragrances, um, with their claims. I even spoke to the ones who are in the marketing team, in the formulation team and also to the brand manager. So all of this happened, nobody told me anything at that period of time like hey we do not like this video of yours or just take it down and nothing happened but um, then once that video went live I don't know how but my contact number got circulated across agencies and all agencies had started to call me up and they started to tell me like hey you are such a sellout you are doing such negative reviews and nobody henceforth wants to work with you and no brand would ever work with you we will see to it that your career is destroyed over here and here itself because people like you Shreya Jain these all are blacklisted I was like dude don't even talk about Shreya because if you feel she's uh, if according to you she is in the blacklist and if you're adding me to in the blacklist I would take it as an honor because she is my fave over here okay and I know her reviews are genuine 100 and you saying that she is also blacklisted like I don't give a shit about what you think about me so these random agencies were just calling me out and troubling and they were like we know it's a negative review done uh, some competitive brand has paid you like in a bulk amount and so you've done such a negative video and tried to bash the brand to be true guys the issue was it was so mentally harassing for me because i know my truth i never did that video out of that or a video just to spread hate or negativity I never did it for that purpose and the thing is if that was sponsored by their competitive brands then immediately in a week or so I would have come up with review videos like hey these are the wow products and I really love them go and try them you're gonna love it too like do I still don't like their products too. I have their products and I don't like them things went down the hill when all of my future collaborations that were supposed to happen got cancelled like suddenly so everybody started calling me up and saying hey um and they used to give me some other other reason random reason and they just cancelled the collabs that were gonna happen in future 
so suddenly i started feeling that they were trying to cancel me and so that i do not get any job opportunities because that this is like my sole source of income and so i started moving into the depression zone at that time because it was very hard every 2 hours i used to get a call and this used to happen so that was the sad phase then what happened was um some agencies even called me out saying that hey why don't you delete the video why have you kept the video if you are facing so much of torture and mental harassing then just delete the video what what's the reason that you're still keeping it i was like why should i delete the video then what she told me was that um oh um actually i heard my senior speaking that they were going to take some legal action against you for making that video and i was like legal action for what like for what i am not the first one ever on youtube who made um a review video wherein they didn't like any product and they just said it out loud so how can you take a legal action against me and they were like no i heard my senior speaking that they're going to take a legal action against you and your channel i got so scared you guys i told her like okay i'll speak to my uncle and aunt who are lawyers because i myself am not in a state of mind to decide whether or not to delete that video so better i'll take a legal help to if the brand wants to go things legally then let's go legally and then she got scared she was like oh no no just let it be nothing nothing can happen and she just dropped my call and since then she never contacted me back and one day i received a dm from one of my subscriber wherein she sent me screenshots of my video being made viral um on whatsapp and uh, to these instagram community content makers like the campaign makers who make community campaigns for instagram it was been made viral over these platforms and all of them were asked to report my video it's like clearly stated report karo report karo and my links were given over there so i got worried because these campaign makers i think are the ones who make these bot comments come and all of these things and they have so many fake email ids that they could have easily done some harm to my channel and so i got scared because if these campaign creators were involved in reporting my video i was scared that if something happens to my channel in the screenshot it also claimed that they were paying to report my video like per report they were paying them which i was shocked i couldn't do anything from my end at that period of time because they were reporting my video as um hate speech and abusive content so as for the kariminati case i know that i did not say any hate speech i did not use any bad words so i was fine but uh any abusive words so i was fine but i don't know how the brand was taking it as my review to be a hate speech i was scared with what decision youtube would take um and if they would just shut down my channel because so many reports for a single video and so i asked you guys to subscribe to my second channel that was the reason so all of this happened and i was shocked because when i spoke to the brand people themselves they never told me that they didn't like the video or anything they just were like they were concerned and they were like let us know next time if you do not like any product we would try our best to make better products in the future and this and that i didn't understand from where all of this was coming like all of these agencies suddenly coming up for me and all of my brand collaborations started to cancel out then these reporting things started to happen i was scared so i used to like cry daily because this is like my dream man and i i didn't see a way out of it i was like for people who are honest over here on this platform there is no place i think these dishonest people won't let honest people survive so i was very disheartened at that time i started getting fever i lost my appetite and i used to just sit and sob the whole day i used to cry late at nights like what would happen next i had no clue so it was like i went totally into depression and so i couldn't make any videos i was scared for my channel and so i lost all hopes all i did was ask you guys 
to subscribe to my second channel so that I have some start to begin again. But then it was you guys who didn't give up on me. I think if you guys weren't be there, this channel wouldn't be there today. You guys uh, went up and escalated my issue to Shweta and DM'd her like, hey, something's happening with this content creator and this and that. And then she made that video. I was shocked when I heard my name in that video itself. So I contacted Shweta after that and we spoke on Instagram. I gave her all the proofs and screenshots and recordings and every proof that I had against them that what and how they were trying to trouble me via these agencies because I didn't know whether it was the brand or just the agencies that were involved in doing this because I don't know but they all were speaking about this one single video of this brand okay. so I gave her all of the proofs and stuff and she said that she's gonna stand by me and then she escalated this issue to the brand and then all of this thing happened she even told all what happened to Shreya so it was Shreya, Shweta and Priyanka Ghosh so Priyanka was the first person whom I told everything that was happening right from the day like whenever something happened the next call was to Priyanka she was the one to whom I've spoken each and everything what was happening with me and I used to cry on calls to her because I saw no way out you guys but she helped me right from the start and she till date has my back and I know she will be with me even in the future so um, it was hard you guys because you know if someone is speaking truth it is like you cannot speak the truth over here because I revealed something which others didn't like to come out in this way and so that's where all the problem started before Shweta posted that video no one else supported me in this except for Priyanka I I will say you this like very clearly it was just Priyanka who stood by me and I would never 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 forget what she has done for me Shweta, Shreya and Priyanka these were the three people who knew everything what was happening and you know even the brand was contacting them and they were answering them like hey this is the problem that is the problem and they stood by me so it was these three people cause of which the issue got solved because then the brand called me again and they asked me and I said that hey all of this was happening in your name and I sent them all of the screenshots and the manager himself was shocked like hey we didn't do this and we would never go through such unethical ways to take down a review video because that's your platform and you can do anything that you want to and he said that they as a brand are not into such unethical practices and they were not involved in doing any of this and they had no clue why these companies were playing these kind of games with me but finally that happened and the best part was that because of the, these three ladies um, the brand finally called me up and they apologized for what had happened with me and they gave me a word that they will see to it that nothing in future ever like this happens to me again in their name and I was more than happy because I just wanted all of this to stop and that's it because I knew it wasn't a negative marketing video done just to kill down some brand no never I myself would never indulge in such kind of practices because that is not how Nidhi works that is very unethical for me and I would never 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 do that so yeah the brand finally apologized and then things came back to track so that was the whole thing I seriously want to say thank you to Shweta, Shreya and Priyanka for being there by me even till date when I chat with uh, Shweta and Priyanka I feel so good like I still remember two times uh, Shreya saw my messages it was like she was the reason why I started my YouTube journey so I just know one thing that angels are there um, and I've seen them I've seen them in my subscribers and I've seen them in these three ladies because of which today my channel is still existing and I would never never forget this what they've done for me and my channel 
I would just say one thing to all the content creators that do not feel less of yourself or your power. You have this voice. Make use of this voice. Do not succumb to the pressure by these brands. But also this trend wherein everyone has started bashing the brands. I do not support this as well because it is not that bashing or saying negative is gonna give you views or subscribers. That does not happen in that way. What I have faced, I think after my issue, no other brand would try to do it because they saw how the beauty community came together and fight for one creator. So I don't think this is going to happen ever again with anyone. And just the thing that saying negative just for the sake of saying it, just to gain views or for creating those spicy thumbnails, that is absolutely wrong. It's absolutely wrong, and that shouldn't happen. So yeah, I'm grateful to Shweta, Shreya, and Priyanka. I want to thank you so much. Give a big, big thank you to all of my subscribers who believed in me and who stood by me in this fight, and they did not give up uh, like I did after a point. Thank you, yar. Thank you. That's it. Rona, nahi hai.